Hello everyone, it's Benedict. Simply be fluid art. I don't know what I was thinking to put so much pillow paint on my canvas. That is a big no-no. I've been doing blooms for over 18 months, blowing out bloom flowers in my style, and I know that that's too much. And obviously, it was a total wreck. So I had to salvage some of the pillow paint and now I'm having an art attack and I'm just randomly <laughs> flooding that pillow with color and I'm going to give this another try. So I'm going to blow out a deconstructed bloom background and on top of that background I'm going to blow out some bloom flowers to try and save this pour. I really don't want to scrape off that paint. I don't want to lose all that product and I'm really going to try and save this one. So stick around and see what I do with this pour. If you've never seen white bloom flowers yet on a painting then this is the painting for you to watch. I blow out beautiful white petals and I give them a colorful edge. So really having an art attack today but I hope that you're going to enjoy my offering. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and then you'll join my pouring family. I'm going to put on some. Now I'm just using my blow dryer and I'm blowing out the cell activator over the colors to create some cells and lines and lacing that I will stretch out by spinning the, uh, the canvas um, so that all the colors flows over the edges of the painting creating a beautiful design on top and that design will be my background for my tiny bloom flowers that I will blow out using my breath. This is a 30 centimeter round canvas. It's an odd shape for me. I don't know when last I used a canvas that was this shape. In fact, I don't think I've ever used a round canvas for my blooms. But anyway, it is what it is. I have to make the best of this painting. So I'm salvaging once again the very last few drops of my pillow paint. And I'm laying down tiny, tiny puddles. Starting with one just to see how it's going to work out. But I'm thinking on that vibrant, colorful background. Perhaps I should just do a white bloom blowout. And so that's what I'm going for here. I've got my white pillow paint. I've added a teaspoon of pearl white. And on top of that, the black cell activator. And then I've blown out that bloom flower with my breath. And now I'm using the back of a skewer to define those petals and I'm doing a little bit of a vortex in the middle just to define that center. So that's my first mini bloom on this 30 centimeter round canvas. I'm loving it. It looks really, really pretty. And now I'm encouraged to continue. I'm scraping and scooping out the last of what's left in my pillow paint tub. So, laying down a few more tiny puddles and I'm going to continue with blowing out those bloom flowers with my breath. And it really is looking really pretty. So I'm defining it again, separating the petals as I always do with my blooms. And I create a little vortex center. And I continue. Now the colors below those little tiny blooms, that multicolor background, is taking shape around these little tiny flowers and it's giving it a beautiful colorful edge 
And that's a surprising feature for me. So now I'm going to use the paints again. I'm dipping my tip of my skewer as I always do. And I'm enhancing those edges of those tiny blooms with the colors that are showing up from the background. So these violets and magenta and the beautiful deep orange, the lime green, the deep yellow and the turquoise. And it's really looking smashing. What a beautiful medley of rainbow colors surrounding those white bloom flowers. I am really happy that I stuck it out with this painting and that I didn't decide to give up and scrape. Sometimes you just got to keep going. You never know what you're going to get as an end result. I'm super happy with this painting, you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this and that I have inspired you to not give up. If you've got a blown out background that you're not happy with, there's always an option and you can blow out tiny flowers on top of your background. So I'm ready to show you the dried results of this blowout and I wish you the very best week ahead. Please stay safe and take care until I see you on the next video. Bye for now.